Hello. And good evening to a very soggy, wet LRS fishing on the beach. Take my hood down. Oh my word. It's, it's bad weather. <laughs> I've got my big shelter up, my course umbrella. I'm, I'm, I'm tucked in behind the, um, the slipway. The wind is blowing from the north east. So it's coming from that direction. So I thought I'll come this side of the, the slipway. I just thought I'd give it a go. Um, it's the last few days of my, I'm, I'm on a, a holiday for a week with my family on the east coast uh, where I go to the caravan at Sea Paul Inn. And um, I've got a bit of bait left. Um, so I thought, Do you know what, let's use it all up. Uh, some squid and also um, a bait that I don't really use too much. Um, it's all right, it's all right, my, my left rod's knocking. But anyway, um, yeah, black lug, the wraps of frozen black lug. It's not really a bait that I use too much. So um, I thought, you know what, it was in the freezer. Let's give it a go uh, with squid. Uh, so left hand rod, pulley panel with a five ounce grip lead, middle rod, shotgun rod, 30, 40 yards out, just a scratching rig, uh, fruit pattern oster. Um, and then my right hand rig is, is a one up, one down rig, all on five ounce grip leads. It's it's rough out to sea and it wasn't, I knew it was gonna be a bit sketchy weather. I've got all my waterproofs on and my wellies um, and I brought my umbrella just in case, but they said it was just gonna be a bit of rain here and there. They didn't say it was gonna be full on storm. Um, so, I mean, listen, I don't know if you can hear the rain. I don't know if you can pick it up, but yeah, it's absolutely chucking it down. <laughs> But it's all good, you know. I knew it was gonna be bad, but you know. So yeah, I'm just out here just for a laugh, really. I'm not expecting anything too much. Um, it's just a fun session, you know. Just my last session before I go home. So I'm just gonna sit on my hands for a bit. I might check out my uh, my left hand rod because that was knocking and the line. I feel like the lines moved a bit. I'm not too sure what's happened there. So I'm gonna give that a go and see what happens. What can I do? Some, some chap has just turned up fishing as well, just to the left of me. Um, he was saying there was a few fishermen out near Backton. Uh, I did a video there, it was blinding. Fish, fish and more fish. Uh, that's the name of it, I put a description in, it was really good. Great, great session. Probably one of the best beach fishing sessions I've ever had. And probably the best that I would have ever, I don't think I'll get another session like it. But I can, um, just about to see the tops of my, tops of my uh, rod tips, dancing away with the waves. <laughs> it's not that bad, but I've wanted to do an evening session for, for a little while now. Um, because I've got myself a new head torch and I wanted to try it. Um, I'll show you that later. Okay, it stopped raining for a bit, but 
I'm absolutely soaked for, I've been here for about an hour and a half now. Or maybe a bit more actually. I haven't had anything just yet. But there was um, something I haven't seen, a seal. It was almost like, I'd say if you were to walk out into the sea, it would be like ankle hit deep. And he was just sat there. He wouldn't move for ages. I thought something was wrong with him. And then he's just, he's just disappeared. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if he was like checking me out or something. I don't know, but he literally he was just there. I was like, okay. Uh, at first I thought he was injured, but no, he was all right. Swam off. My word, it's horrible conditions, horrible. But you know what they say, you've got to be in it to win it, people. Oh boy, I'm doing my best. <laughs> uh, there was another chap fishing uh, to, the, to the left of me, but he's gone now. Um, and he actually gave me his worms, so nice one. Nice of him. I've moved my uh, rod, my rod's closer because the tide's ebbing off really fast now. Yeah, it's rough out to sea. I tell you, I wouldn't want to be in my kayak out there, flipping it. It'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. So yeah, nothing to report just yet, but uh, we're going to keep on going anyway. Um, it's the rain's gone to like a fine drizzle now, so we're all right. Due to warm up a bit, you know, I'm kind of cold. But never mind. We're going to keep on going, and if I catch anything. You'll be the first to know. So, um, hopefully you can see me. So, I wanted to, the reason I wanted to do a night session is because basically I wanted to test out my brand new head torch. Um, I've got the Lenser, the MH10. Um, wide, widely recommended by a lot of people. Um, I've always been forever going to the tackle shops and buying the like really cheap torches and stuff. And uh, they're just, they're okay, they, they serve a purpose, but they're not fantastic. Um, so basically I thought, you know what, let's bite the bullet. Um, I spent the money and got one, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, you get the seven year warranty as well, um, which is great. Uh, you just have to like apply for it when you get it out of the packet sort of thing. Uh, sign up to it and um, yeah, I've got the seven year warranty. So if anything's to go wrong then, well, hey ho, I've got a seven year warranty. You can't beat that, can you? But it did actually stop raining, but it's absolutely chucking it down again now. It's awful conditions. It's about quarter to 10 now, I think it was, my phone said. Um, that was about 10 minutes ago, so something like that. I can't remember to be honest. I've just refreshed all my baits and um, I'm just getting eaten alive by the crabs. So um, I'm gonna sort of leave them out there for about 10 minutes of time now. I've gone from half hour to 20 minutes to now I'm on 10 minutes of time. So. Yep, yeah, we're gonna keep on going. Not the best conditions ever, but I'm um, getting through my bait. So whenever I run out of bait, I'll call it quits. Fingers crossed, all my efforts. This is hard work, man. I'm gonna get something. I deserve a fish, don't I? What do you reckon? I look a right state, don't I? <laughs> oh well, it's all fun and games. If I catch anything, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, guys, I don't know how I'm going to set this up. Um, just bear with me, okay? Uh, 
I need my pliers. One second, I'll show you in a minute. What a bass! What a fish! Massive! Guys! <laughs> what a fish! What a fish! Look at the size of it! Oh my goodness! People are falling over, I'm all over the shop. It's as big as, look! It's massive! <laughs> I uh, don't know what to say. <sighs> Try and rest my ca Oh, I dropped him. So I can't see what I'm doing because the camera's got stuck. People, look at the size of it. Oh, look at it. That, it's, it's massive. It's massive! It's coming home with me. <laughs> Get in! Oh, I hope you can see this. I'm going to set this up properly so you can have a proper look at him. Just bear with me. Oh my goodness! Oh, man, it weighs up. People. Oh, I hope you can see this. What a fish! It's a monster! <laughs> Get the flipping! Oh, it was. Oh my god, I can't. Right. Composure. Anyway. I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. This is madness. Look at him. Look at him. I mean, look at he's he's just look. <laughs> he's chucking it down. I don't care. Come on! What's a fish? <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He's massive. He's massive. Right. <laughs> oh wow. I am. Um... Well, put him down there for a sec. I've had a tough week fishing. I really have. It's been, it's been so hard work. I'm coming out in these conditions, and I thought, Do you know what? It looks bassy out there. I said that. I'll give it a go and it's paid off. Right, I'm gonna get him dispatched because he's been out of the war for ages. Um, I'm taking him home. We'll do a really good catch and cook. <laughs> I've made up. I don't know what to say. It was on squid and um, um, it felt to... Oh, do you know what? It's really funny because I've got my rig down here and I'm rolling around in all the hooks. It's a free hook pattern the rig. Five ounce group lead. It was on the bottom hook. Um, well, we've got a squid and um, I think it was black lug. That frozen black lug that I've been using. Um, and what happened was, um, I'll just turn my back to do something over here just to tidy up the area and my rod fell over. My, my, um, you know, I've got that sand spike, that plastic um, sand spike and um, it just fell over I was like oh flips out a wave has hit it and, I, and um, it just went way to the left and um, I was like oh it's crossed me over lines what is it what's get is it seaweed and it just came in like a fat lump I mean <sighs> wow I don't know what to say guys I really don't I'll get this weighed and measured uh, uh, back at the caravan because I have no idea what it weighs. I really haven't got a clue, but... I mean... Yep, yeah, I'm over the moon with it. 
Right, let me get him dispatched and um, we'll get back to you in a minute. I don't know if you'll see this, but I've, I brought the car down the slipway a little bit and I left one rod out there and I've got myself a little pin whiting. So, so yeah, big bass and a pin whiting. Don't know if you can see him there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get this fella back. Uh, I'm packing all the gear in the car. I'm absolutely soaked. What a session, what a day. Right, let me sort this guy out and um, yeah, let's get back to the caravan. Right, here we go. So, what, what are you saying? I'm saying three pounds seven ounces. I say four, I... five pound. <laughs> four and a half. Right, let's weigh it. Right, I'm gonna curl it up. Right, let's have a look. Three, three pound eleven. Three eleven, so nearly four. Oh, three twelve. Three twelve. Three eleven. Three twelve. Three I'm going to start with the two. Oh, look at that, look at that. Mummy. Mummy, mummy, mummy. Bon appetit. Right, Bella. Oh. Is it nice, Steve? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's lovely. Never be nicer. Oh, man, that's amazing. So lovely. What do you think? Yeah? So, my mother-in-law has dared me to eat a bit of the brain, which is just here. Have a look. Um, I said I'll try a little bit. <laughs> oh. No, oh. I'm going to have a bit of Dutch courage first because I've never had brain before. <laughs> might be sucking oh, crikey. There's quite a lot of it. Hit like if you want him to try it. <laughs> oh, no. It's it's not a lot. I'm going to... Oh, okay. She's, oh, no. She's put loads on. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push it onto my... Oh, dear. Oh, lovely. Bella. So this is brain. Okay. Wait a minute, I need more Dutch courage. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go on, Steve. Poor excuse, that is. Oh, gosh. Go on. Go on. Do it. 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 Oh, it's slimy. <laughs> oh. oh, it's slimy. <laughs> oh. It's really slimy. Have some of my drink. I'm okay, thank you. I'm just gonna drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not that bad, but it was just a bit slimy. Oh, there you go. I ate some brain. So we finished the meal now. It was absolutely fantastic. What a sea bass! It was absolutely beautiful. Um, and the mother-in-law even got me eating brains. So it couldn't be bad, could it? Um, I found it interesting if I hadn't had that that mid that third rod the middle rod out in close i would have never have caught that bass so it just goes to show you if you don't have a rod close in i would never have had it so i'm i'm made up to be honest with you it's been fantastic um quite a nice surprise and a lovely ending to our little week away at the caravan um what a bass so we we how we prepped it we took the scales off the fish not exactly the proper way of doing it i'm sure there's a proper way of doing it but we haven't got all the right tools at the caravan so we just get the knife and scrape it um, and then we just thought we'll do steaks and we cut it into sections and there was enough for us to have almost two each and there's um, six of us I had to think then um, so it was a cracking meal I'm absolutely full up to the brim and um, a couple glasses of wine to go with it as well and also I forgot to say um, the weight of the fish um, I'm not too sure how long it is. Nearly four pounds, actually. It was nearly four pounds. We got some scales from Tesco's, and it was actually uh, just shy of four pounds. Um, uh, three pounds, 11 ounces. So, not quite four pounds, but hey, do you know what? What a stunning fish. I couldn't believe it. But that's it. I'm done. 
give us a comment, like, please subscribe. And you know what? Wherever there's water, well, we will be there. Right. <laughs> Good man. Cheers, guys. <laughs>